Hello everyone. In this video, we will focus on introduction to similar polygons and this is the first part. When we say similar figures or similar polygons, two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal. When we say corresponding sides, it means the sides that match up. So in this uh, picture that we have here, this side labeled 12 and 4 are corresponding because they match up and this 15 and 5 are corresponding and this 9 and 3 are corresponding and this 7 and 2 are corresponding. In the other picture that we have right here, in some cases, some pictures are turned around, some pictures are flipped but then we can still determine their corresponding sides. So in this picture that we have here, we can go ahead and say that 4.5 match up with three because that's the corresponding side. And then this long side right here, 15 match up with 10. And this six actually match up with four. So how do we determine if the two given figures are similar or not similar? So let's take this first example right here. As mentioned in the beginning, two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal. So in this video, we're going to focus on whether or not their corresponding sides or the ratios of their corresponding side lengths are equal. So in this problem right here, all we need to do is to come up with a fraction that is big over small. So we go ahead and say match them up. So 15 matches up with 5. So I'll make a fraction out of that. So that would be 15 over 5. And then another match up would be the 12 and the 4. So I can go ahead and match up 12 and 4. So, uh, by the way, this 15 divided by 5 is 3. And so we're going to check the other corresponding sides. So we're going to have um, 12 and 4. So that's big over small. So that would be 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then we go ahead and match up the next side right here. We have 9 and 3, so we're going to divide it. So that's 9 divided by 3, or I make a fraction out of it that's big over small, and that is a 3. And so the other one right here is 7 and 2, so they're matchups. Again, these are corresponding 12 and 4, 15 and 5, 9 and 3, and then 7 over 2. So I'm going to divide that 7 divided by 2 is actually 3.5. Since these numbers that we have here are not the same, they are not equal, then we can go ahead and say that these two pictures that we have here or these two polygons are not similar. So I'm just going to label that right here so they are not similar. Again, the reason why they are not similar, it's because the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are not equal. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we are going to um, match up the sides. So again, if we look at the picture, the 4.5 matches up with 3. So I'll make a fraction out of that. So that would be 4.5 divided by 3. And then the 15 matches up with 10. So, uh, by the way, if we divide this 4.5 divided by 3, again, you can use calculator for that. So, 4.5 divided by 3 is 1.5. So, this is 1.5 right here. And then we match up the next one. So, we're done with 4.5 divided by 3. The 15 matches up with 10. So, I'll make a fraction out of it. So, that is 15 divided by 10 is another 1.5 right there. And then we match up the uh, the third corresponding sides, which is 6 divided by 4. So I'm going to write 6 divided by 4 right here. And that is, if we divide it, 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. As you can see here, all of the numbers that we got are the same. We remember that two figures are similar if the ratio of their lengths of the corresponding sides are equal. So they're all 1.5. So then we can go ahead and say that these two figures that we have here are similar. Again, they are similar because when we tested it, we, uh, we took the 
ratio of the lengths of the corresponding um, sides and it came out equal. So then we go ahead and say that they are similar. So to wrap it up, we remember that if we uh, get the uh, ratio of the lengths of their corresponding sides and if the lengths are not, I mean, if the ratio of their corresponding side lengths are not equal, we go ahead and say they are not similar. And if the ratio of their corresponding side lengths are the same or equal, then we go ahead and say that they are similar. Now we remember that this value that we got here, which is 1.5, 1.5, and 1.5, we call this as the scale factor. So we can go ahead and say that the scale factor for this is 1.5, which means that this bigger picture is 1.5 bigger than the smaller picture. That's it. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.